Spot World in season tournament action. The New Orleans Pelicans versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Let's get to the action. Against the Clippers over the yes, sir! Yo, Yo, if you're here and you're hearing me, please hit that like button. And I know you're hearing me because it's the start of the video. And I can see how many of y'all still here. It really helps a lot. I know you guys enjoy basketball. Y'all enjoy NBA. And uh, hopefully we can have some fun watching this game together. Clippers! So, uh, coming into this game, right, the Clippers, they were on like a two-win streak, I think. The Pelicans, they were on a two-win streak as well. So, what, what have y'all been thinking about the Clippers? They got Russ on the bench now, playing like six minutes. And I mean, it worked out. Ingram. It worked out in their favor for those games, right? They won. Is uh is James Harden definitively better than Russ? Interesting philosophy too, because you have three I mean, scores on the court, and I think Terrence wants to. I'll just run through Russ box real quick. <laughs> One of eight, twelve percent from the field, missed both his three point attempts. Uh, missed one of his free throws. He took two, made one. Four rebounds, two assists. Uh, no turnovers, and three points. And then, distance we're comparing, let's get to the Two and eight from the field, 25%, one of six, only made one of his three points. Three of six, missed half of his free throws. Five rebounds, ten assists, three turnovers, four steals, a block, eight points. That says this game. Harden has been playing better than us, but uh, he has 14. They were winning. They were winning with Russ Stark. So that's pretty interesting. Because you know they won, they lost like five in a row, right? They lost like five, six in a row, but that was after they got harder. So after this game, currently the Clippers are six and eight, right? So that means the one two with Harden, they lost like five. They lost like five. They're like, Four and three or something. With Russ starting. Now they're six and eight. So I guess they'll still be playing with the rotation. So who knows? Russ might be back in there. Harden might go to the bench. Paul George ain't going to the bench. <laughs> That's a fact. Paul George. 14 to 30, 46 percent. Four for 12 from three, 34 points, eight rebounds, two assists. Now, should Paul George be taking 30 shots? I guess if Russ is gonna suck, and James Harden is gonna suck. The fact he can even get up there. And it wasn't like too inefficient, but like. Kawhi, 8 of 17, 47%, made 1 out of 7 of his threes. This guy did not shoot the threes well at all. 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 20 points. They shot 29% in the two from three, 45 from four. Mm. So now Harden the Clippers can so like, two for one here walking between raindrops. Nice pull the trigger on a three. What are we thinking? Or they could just what are we thinking? As well. Ariana, great stuff. Thank you so much. Turnover. Let's, let's talk about the our boys. The New Orleans Pelicans. 48% from the field. 41 from three. Ways to get him off the screen so he can turn the corner. What are we thinking about that? I think the Pelicans have been on this channel the most at this point. <laughs> We've seen almost all their games. <laughs> but yeah, they have a great team. Not gonna lie. Led by their star power, Brandon Ingram and Zion. Whoa, cool. Boy, is Brandon Ingram. He's nasty. 12 of 21. 12 for 21 from the field. 57%. 2 of 5 from the field. 5 assists. 4 rebounds, 30 points. A great thing with the passing ball. He didn't even really get his assist on it. Harden, nice steal by Harden. Mm. Woo! Then we got that boy Zion. 
Damn, Aaron Martin. 13, 25, 52 from the field. 6 and 9 from the free throw line. 6, uh, six rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals. 32 points. I think this is a season high so far. We were talking before about Zion saying, you know, did he lose some explosiveness? You know, we were talking in the comments. A lot of people weren't feeling Zion at that point in time. But how are you feeling about him now? Past five games, including this one 32 points, 25 points, 26, 26, 19. All above 52% from the field. So he's efficient and he's making it happen. And they've won all five of those games, by the way. They won all the past five that Zion has been on. Seductive ball fake. Just joining mm. us and he whistled like that. Choice selection of the Herb Jones hit a three back in the first half. It's a three here in the second half. I think that's, a, that's an excellent cup. I miss those days of college basketball. Brandon Ingram knocks down a layup opportunity for Paul yeah, George. The, the, the Pelicans just took control in the fourth. I was watching this game. An electric start to the game. The Clippers tried to make a run. The defense, Jones to beat, lays it up and in. But Pelicans just wouldn't let go of the lead. Fourth quarter leads. Clippers are hoping to add one more to the ledger. Ingram down the lane. Oh. Ingram and uh, Zion, they were just, they were just too on in the fourth. Rebound goes to man. George leaks out. We've seen this a few times here tonight. Mm. Punches it in. 107. Attacks <coughs> on Zion. Finds his team. Takes it to the house. Next. Yeah, Paul George is trying to violate right there. <laughs> He's trying to violate. He's trying to get a call, too. He probably could have, man. Look at that Kawhi forward. That was nice. Kawhi with 20. Great forward right here. Look at this right here. Zion snatches it out of Harden. Zion's too strong. Too strong, man. That was big. Yep, Pelicans take the game 116 106 over the Clippers. And they'll have to get right back to it tomorrow. And as Leonard hits the three, they said it does not count. Irrelevant, to be quite honest with you. Spot world. My camera might be lagging, but just bear with me. With that win, the Pelicans are number one in the Western Conference Group B, three and one. They only lost one game against Houston in the beginning. The Clippers are eliminated. Let me know what y'all thought about this game in the comments. Please do leave a like if you're here and a sub if you're new.